4 and 2 over 3 divided by 1 and 1 over 6. We have to, uh, this is a mixed number and this is also a mixed number. So we have to find out the quotient, right? So look, this is a mixed number, this is a mixed number. So at first step, what I'll do, I'll just translate this expression. This divided by means this division sign, right? Now I will change this mixed number to to fraction right or improper fraction look let's say uh, 1 over 2 this is a proper fraction because the numerator is less than denominator on the other hand 3 over 2 this is the improper improper fraction because numerator is greater than denominator uh, remember this uh, it will be useful, right? Look, in the second step, I will change this mixed number to improper fraction. For this, what will I do? Look, I will multiply this whole number. This 4 is a whole number and 2 over 3 is a fraction. I will multiply this whole number by denominator, that is 3. Uh, then I will add the numerator. And... I'll, I will give the denominator same, right? This is division sign. Then I will do the same thing. 1 times this 6, that is whole number times denominator plus 1 divided by this 6, that is denominator will be same. Now, look, I have to so 4 times 3 that is 12 plus this is 2 over 3 division sign then 1 times 6 that is 6 plus 1 divided by 6 so look now we have 12 plus 2 that is 14 over 3 look here we are getting 14 over 3 the numerator is greater than denominator so we are getting improper fraction then here we have we are getting 7 over 6 this is also an improper fraction because numerator is greater than denominator in the fifth step what will I do look I will just sense this division sign by multiplication sign then I will take the reciprocal of this fraction that is 6 over 7 the reciprocal of 7 over 6 is 6 over 7 just you need to change the position of numerator and denominator now you have to multiply top to top that is 14 times 6 then bottom to bottom 3 times 7 right so look if i target these 3 and 6 if i divide this 3 by 3 I'll get 1. If I divide this 6 by 3, I'll get 2, right? Now, if I target this 14 and 7, if I divide this 7 by 7, then I'll get 1. And if I divide this 14 by 7, I'll get 2. So basically, we are getting 2 times 2 divided by 1 times 1. So we are getting here 4 divided by 1. That is 4. This is the answer.